Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I'm Farah Khan and I'm the trust building coordinator for the Trust Building Forum project. The Trust Building project is really important to me and also I think it's really important to society at the moment with the current uh, narrative about Muslims within the media, within, um, within the world really. I think it's really important to uh, promote that positivity and to, to actually dispel that narrative that's out there. And we do this by various methods. So um, the Trust Building Forum has a whole training workshop based upon some of the negative narratives that are out there about Muslims. And we go into communities, into organisations, dispelling those narratives, dispelling those myths really that people have about Muslims. It's been quite an interesting um, training session. It's there to create a safe space for people to have that open dialogue. So they're able to ask those really awkward questions they want to ask a Muslim, but wouldn't do, do so on the street. They'd rather do it in private. So we give them that opportunity and we're there, that, you know, we're there to, to actually speak the truth, to tell them the real reasons, um, to also challenge any prejudices that come our way. And alhamdulillah, it seems to be working really well. We've presented the presentation to over 60 organisations and alhamdulillah now started to go into schools, which I think it's really important to deliver workshops as such in schools. I think um, I'm going to name one of many. We have seen many, many results. One of the most um, important results or the most touching results I've seen this year is in Ramadan, just pre-Ramadan, I did a training workshop with Nottingham City Homes. And within that workshop, I made many um, friends and the chair of the Equality Diversity Forum actually wanted to have, um, to wanted to fast during Ramadan and she wanted to put that, implement that within the whole of the organisation, just out of unity and solidi solidarity for Muslims and they did. And there's about 15, 20 of them who actually fasted for the whole of Ramadan just to say that we're here with you, we understand what you're going through, we want to support you, we want to be a part of that spiritual journey as well and to sort of, you know, it's to say that we understand what everything you're going through. And alhamdulillah, I think that's one of the most sort of significant things that's happened this year. But as well as that, I think I've seen small impacts in terms of more and more people are asking us to visit organisations, to come and deliver our training because they're saying it's very different, it's very unique, it's very open. They love the way we have ambassadors from all different faiths or no faiths on our team. It's not just Muslims. So we're all coming together and sharing what we have in similarity rather than our differences. So I think, you know, that in itself, the training, um, the schools uh, want me to work with them to do an anti-hate campaign. I think that's quite significant. So one particular secondary school wants me to come along and design sort of an anti-hate campaign with the children. We've already started doing some of the work. And Alhamdulillah, I think it's been quite an amazing journey. I think we've seen some really significant changes. Not only that, I think we've had some research done on the project in 2016 by Dr. Emily Knox. So having a look at what impact it's had on the people that have attended the training. And that showed a huge, how people's mindsets changed, how people's perceptions changed after they've been to uh, the training. And we're doing another piece of research this, which will go out inshallah next year. Uh, and we'll see how we've moved on from that, inshallah, and how that's made a difference. But I think also we've held very key events around the city this year. Uh, we did World Hijab Day. We did um, a trust building annual event. We have obviously remembering Shabanitsa coming up. So I think we're doing, we're holding very key events around the city. Uh, we're quite prominent and think people are trying to, um, people are becoming aware of what the trust building forum is about. I think the future for the Trust Building Forum, it'll be amazing to be embedded into it every single school without the, with, within the city We're in, of Nottingham initially and hopefully taking it national. So it'll be, it's a really good um, project to take into other cities. So taking it into the Midlands, maybe Leicester, Derby. Um, so inshallah, I think the vision for Trust Building Forum for myself and you know for Karimia is inshallah to take it a bit more forward into to take a bit more national 
uh, rather than just um, Nottingham, because this issue is not just Nottingham, it's all over the UK. Uh, so inshallah trying to do that. But yeah, schools, I think it's really important to work with the youth. I think, you know, if we work with them, then inshallah they are future leaders. Uh, the world may be a better place.